everybody, welcome back to another episode of DeLorean Tech, and we've got a real special treat for you today. So we are here with Mr. Matt Summer at DCS 2023, and he is gonna walk us through the original Hot Wheels DeLorean prototype cars that never saw production. So those would be based on the prototype one versus the production car. Hey Matt, hey, thanks again for being with us today. My understanding is there is a really interesting history behind the Hot Wheels DeLorean prototype that Mattel approached DMC about that eventually never actually saw production, at least not in the actual sense. In other words, this car started off as a DeLorean, but it ended up being re-sort of designed and then marketed as the Turismo. Right. So today we actually have the prototypes here, okay? So this is what was actually marketed. So this is the Hot Wheels Turismo, and there are several variations of this. There's a yellow one, there is a sort of a maroon colored one, a gold one, and a blue one out there. Um, this is sort of the tribute that we did to the original prototype one car that arguably never saw production. However, we do have the original prototype models that Matt here has acquired throughout the years. Now, Matt, how did you end up with, with these one-of-a-kind <laughs> prototypes? Well, I first met Mike Knepper in around 2000, and he was brought on to DeLorean because he was an automotive journalist. And John wanted um, sort of like a liaison, so to speak. He wanted somebody who knew the car world, but also the car market. Okay. So he was vice president of public relations. So I met him, became, we became, you know, good friends. Then when I acquired all of his papers, he, he saved quite a bit. He was instrumental also in bringing in the concepts of doing die cast toys, um, some of the jackets for the press junkets. Right. Uh, he also said that a high-end model kit would be good to produce eventually. So that was where I first heard about them. Okay. And then the search began after that. Okay. And it's, what, 2023? This yeah. is what I've been able to acquire so far to date. I only want them, obviously, because they're DeLorean. Of course. I do have a lot of the paperwork, the internal files, uh, blueprints and such. Right. Absolutely. And then you probably know they did the Turismo because they had put so much money into the R&D. They said, well, instead of scrapping it, let's make it into a different vehicle to recover some costs and sell something. Absolutely. They retooled the, uh, the car a little bit, changed the hood, the, got rid of the windows that you see right here. So these are the actual windows in there. And if you look at the Turismo, you do the comparison, you can tell that with the Turismo, there's no windows there. However, I actually pulled these apart and you can still see where the window would have been. Oh, is that right? Yes. Nice. And in fact, the inside the windshield has a blue extension that goes all the way to the back, which would be this window here. DeLorean had, uh, well, C.R. Brown approved it and they were going to go ahead with it. And the deal was uh, they would use, they would have permission obviously to use the DMC logo, that type of thing, but also they would be provided with, I believe it would be cars for DMC for no charge for them to hand out however they wished. And then as time progressed, the contract was they could purchase them for 60 or 65 cents a piece. They were, DMC would be able to buy them for the same price as a, as a, at a wholesale price. Oh, really? Essentially. Okay. And then for some unknown reason, at the last minute, uh, they pulled the plug. Mm -hmm. uh, DeLorean backed out. We still don't know the real uh, reason I why. I don't right? know why. I know there's a popular <laughs> reason that went around. I don't think that's the right reason. Is that the prototype one reason? And it's not the production car, it's the prototype car? Oh, oh I don't think that's the okay. reason. Because okay. it was based on Proto 1 and mm -hmm. because the production mm -hmm. car looked different. I have a hard time believing that because they could have just modified uh, this. I, my gut tells me because at the same time or a little after this, Corgi was coming out with a DeLorean. And I have some of the prototype materials from that. And that, so Corgi being an English company, 
My theory is maybe John used that also partially as leverage with the English government, maybe to get more money to say, hey, you know, we're also going to have Corgi produce a model car of it. And, you know, John was also, I'm not going to bash him, but John was known just to say pretty much anything off the cuff. Really? I've heard stories when he would go at the early uh, investor meetings before Proto One was built, he would say things, we're going to have this, we're going to have that on it. And the, you know, C.R. Brown was in the background, a couple of other executives, and they are just cringing, going, that's not true, we're not doing that. Uh, so that's my personal theory, because I think it logically makes sense. So you know, he probably, you know, said, we'll give you the exclusive and then just told Hot Wheels, forget it. A lot of what he did was very um, impulsive, mm -hmm, too. Mm -hmm. But again, that's my own theory. Yeah. I have nothing to back that up. Yeah, no, I hear you. I hear you. All right, so here we have all the models out of their cases, and we're going to go ahead and focus on this particular one right here. So, Matt, um, what do we have here? Oh, <laughs> the, uh, the wheels <laughs> came off. That's the trick to Yeah, the wheels the, drop out. The wheels drop out, and that's okay. That, we can take that was there. an early uh, res. I believe it's resin, a rendering to okay. get the overall shape and proportions and scale, make sure it was yeah. correct yeah. before they continued. Let's get that back in there. There we go. No, and these look like little rubber wheels almost there, huh? Goodyear. <laughs> <laughs> it says Goodyear on there. Let's see if we can zoom in and check that out. Not being a Hot Wheels historian, I don't know what the wheels were like on the cars at that time. Mm -hmm. I always assumed they were plastic. So the rubber wheels seem to be a little more unusual. Yeah, that is very unusual, especially for way back when. I don't know when they started the, the whole real riders thing. That's what they call the rubber wheels as opposed to the oh, hard okay. plastic ones. Yeah. Because when I was a kid, it was always hard plastic. Because yeah, I can they, feel that's definitely rubber. Fly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they would. So much fun. Mm -hmm. Very interesting here. So that's the the sort of an off white color resin. And then we've got this guy right here. So this is a recent edition, I think. Um, it is. Yeah, and you were able to get this, I think you said about a year ago, right? Something like that? About a year ago. Okay, ago. okay. Uh, Any idea? I haven't been able to do much research on it yet. It had something to do with uh, the lines would give them an idea of how the body lines were flowing and if it was correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How did you go about acquiring these? Well, you know, I've been collecting since 1988, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it's just a matter of you build relationships over the years and yeah. word of mouth. And I know oftentimes, especially when I first started doing the museum displays, people would be all coming up to me, oh, so you got all this on eBay, huh? I'm like, no, mm -hmm. I've been collecting for quite a long time. Yeah, I've never seen one of these pop up on eBay. <laughs> Very cool. So, but you're not quite sure the purpose, the whole purpose behind this one here, this yellow one. Um, just no, I apologize. Uh, I, I have the information in my notes somewhere. I don't remember. And in preparing for the show, I wasn't sure if the show was going to happen because mm -hmm, it had been mm -hmm. canceled and mm -hmm. delayed multiple times mm -hmm. due to COVID. Yeah, of course. So, um, when I got the final word, and um, so I was prepping. And also, quite frankly, um, I had only decided to bring the cars out two days before I left. Yeah, it might have been. Per your request. Yeah, it might have been because of me. It was because <laughs> of you. Because I, I was not planning on bringing them. Right. But right. I'm glad I did. Everyone's enjoying so seeing them. Yeah. I just worry about transporting them that's that, and securing them on, on display. That, that's my only concern. It's not like I want to acquire these things and... See, you know, secret them away and, and go, ha ha, I have them, you know. Yeah. I, I enjoy people getting to see it. Yeah, this is very cool, very cool. All right, moving on to the next model here, another sort of prototype. Um, this is a solid piece as well here. So what's the story behind this one? That one, I believe, was a paint test piece. A uh, paint test piece. See how the paint would lay, sense. make sure it's the right color. Yeah, absolutely. It would be as close to the uh, prototype as possible. Because um, in the paperwork, DeLorean was 
adamant that it had to look good, which Hot Wheels assured them it would. It would be an accurate representation. Absolutely. And I think they did a phenomenal job, as Hot Wheels always does. Oh, yeah, for sure. And these were designed by Larry Wood and Bob Rosas, right? Right. And then we'll move on to these ones here. These are completed actual um, uh, prototypes of the cars. And these two, I think, are identical, right? These are they pretty are, much the same. pretty much what it would have been. Mm -hmm. It would have gone into production after this. Everything looked good. The details were nice. It's a beautiful piece. They really did. Oh, yeah. Amazing Very nice. work. And that was before computers, too. It was all done by hand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So apparently, as most uh, Hot Wheels collectors know, and I found out, the first step in making one of these is they make a uh, hand-carved wooden model mm -hmm. that's about, probably about 12 to 14 inches long, and then it goes from there. And the man who was responsible for making pretty much all of those uh, after they were, they would use it, they would look at it, approve it, then they would continue on the production process, that became trash. So, mm. what did he do? He took them home. But the problem is, he burned them in his fireplace during oh, the winter. No. Because it was wood, and it was trash. Yeah. So, um, not many of those around. I'm sure the DeLorean one has been burned. Probably no longer exists. But you never know, stranger things have happened. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It would have been kind of cool to see those. I don't know, do you have any photos or anything? I do have those a few oh, you have. photos okay. of it. Look at that. So that's a Hong Kong base there. Interesting. I wonder if the other one's the same. Because there were some that have Should a be. Malaysia base. Oh, it's different. So these, are, this one doesn't have any stamping going on here. So that one was probably... Yeah predates this. This is, this is probably an earlier, yeah, for sure there. It's got that interesting little hole there. I didn't notice that. On um, Oh, th there is a hole there. Okay. Yeah, interesting. I'm trying to remember if the, uh, the production version has a hole and it doesn't. Okay. Well, the Turismo does not. The Turismo not. does not, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if that was a potential rivet hole, maybe? Could be, China. yeah. Because there's only one rivet on these, and it's a front rivet, right. and it just kind of slides into the back. Right. Yeah, very cool. You can really get up close here and see all the little details they did here. So the thing is, when they uh, went from DeLorean to Turismo, they eliminated the the iconic taillights by putting some weird-looking arrows in there instead, which, uh, yeah, you can look at the... Uh, this production one here, you can kind of see what that looks like. So there's sort of a comparison between the two there. So that was modification number one that they did. So those little arrows that you see here on the taillights, they just added some more material uh, to the casting. And then on the sides here, like we mentioned before, you've got the cut windows here and they filled that in. So that's metal in there. Um, there's no window, although if you were to look on the inside, you'd still be able to see sort of this little kind of faint outline of where the window used to be. And of course, the uh, plastic windshield insert, that extends all the way to the back. That still actually exists here on the Turismo as well. So you can kind of see it. It's kind of hard to pick it up on, on the camera, but if you look sort of behind uh, where the, um, where the uh, engine cover is back there, you can kind of see it. It's like blue, so. And then, for the next sort of modification that they did, they reworked the hood and sort of covered up the grill a bit. So the hood, if you notice on the Turismo, it kind of, they added a little bit more to the top, so it's almost like a hood scoop, and they kind of brought the front end of the hood down and covered up the, uh, the grill, right? So if you look at what the DeLorean would have looked like, you don't see that, you see, the grooves sort of in the hood there, right? They captured that, the groove to the look, right? Uh, prototype one still has 
Uh, and then you have the grill here, which does not have the uh, sort of the metal, odd looking metal uh, piece that kind of just extends uh, down to the bumper line there. So you here you have uh, the, you can see the headlights clearly, they're not blocked like they are here. You can only see maybe one and a half of the headlights. Here you can see both the headlights as well as the plastic grill insert. And that plastic sort of uh, piece in there still exists on the Turismo. It's just covered up by this, uh, the rest of the hood that they brought down. So those are the, the main uh, modifications. Obviously the paint scheme um, is, is quite a bit different from what a DeLorean looks like. So here we have the graphics that were planned for the car. This particular piece right here was gonna go on the hood of the car. And then this part right here was going to go on the roof of the car. So there are photographs and there's probably some other prototypes out there that have the graphics. And these are actual original graphics. That's that, what actually yeah. would have been placed on mm -hmm. the car. That's the, Unused. I believe they're the wet decals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The tampos, I think they call them. Oh. That's what they uh, apply to the, uh, the, the car. Now this right here looks painted, so the cars are painted. It's not uh, the, the die-cast metal itself showing through there, but it is like a silver paint. And then they would have applied these on top of the, uh, the car here for the graphics. And it looked pretty cool. And I, I thought I remember seeing like, um, like a yellow color or something like that at one point on some of them. But, uh, I believe so. Yeah, this looks like I a... I have a Polaroid mm -hmm. also, one of the cars with mm -hmm. the graphics applied. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. So this would have been sent to the company, uh, part of it, that did the, um, the wood uh, mm -hmm. carving. Mm -hmm. So here we have the actual photos. I would say that these might be the photos that uh, they went off of to design the car? They were. Okay, so these are the actual photos that Mattel used to basically design the, what you see here, okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these here. Hot Wheels sent DeLorean a letter and said, we need reference photos so we can begin. So and this is what, what they sent. This is what they sent. So these are the photos here, look at that. That's interesting. And I think what's more interesting is that, at least for the interior here, I think you mentioned that the seats uh, and these photos here of prototype one, I think it's prototype one, probably yeah, not prototype two, okay. No. So those seats were just temporarily placed in there in these photographs for what, you said a couple days? Two weeks. Two weeks, okay. They wanted to test a different style sh seat. Uh, those were put in for two weeks. I never thought I would ever find a photo of those seats. And uh, lo and behold, I got that, I looked at it and I went, those aren't the right seats. and I'm. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. There you go. Uh, that tidbit came from Bill Collins, so mm -hmm, I know that's mm -hmm. accurate. About the two week period. Wow. So a nice close up of the engine cover and they were able to um, get those details down pretty good for the, uh, for both the original DeLorean and the uh, Turismo. And it looks like these, this photo here was maybe sent for size comparison with another car. I'm not sure about that. I don't know why the antique car is mm -hmm. there. That's probably lost to history because mm -hmm. anybody who would know would be a DMC in there. They're probably past. Right. I hear you. If they even would remember. Yeah. All right, man. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate uh, you coming out to DCS and bringing your Hot Wheels collection for everybody here to check out and for the opportunity to go through these really unique examples here of, of history and what could have been. It's unfortunate that, you know, DeLorean decided not to go with, with Hot Wheels after all. In fact, I think they didn't end up going with anyone, but Corgi was a possibility. I think it was going to be Corgi. Okay. okay. And there was a prototype produced. I'm still okay. looking for it. Ah, so Corgi produced, produced the prototype then, okay. There is one. Okay. I've, I've been looking for that for many years. Mm -hmm. I have two prototype Corgi uh, cards, the blister mm -hmm. cards. Mm -hmm. uh, I have oh, an yeah. eight and a half by 11 um, uh, ad slick and a small poster that was a prototype for dealers to use. Okay. You know, at the, at the toy stores. Right. And um, I, I've been looking and searching high and low, 
and hopefully one day I'll turn one up or yeah. something. Yeah, hopefully it's, it's also difficult seeing being in a different country. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, this Hot Wheels was, this was a tough one, but being in the same country did make it easier. Okay, makes sense. Maybe one day. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you prodded me to bring them. <laughs> uh, I was not planning to bring them in. That's why I wasn't quite prepared, but I, I'm, it's my pleasure. I'm glad you enjoy it. Appreciate it. Sure. So here's an original Polaroid of the decaled DeLorean prototype Hot Wheels as well. So you can kind of get an idea. And this photo is available on the internet as well. But this is one of the original Polaroids that they took. And this was attached to an inner office memo. So we've got quite a bit of communications going on here uh, between John DeLorean and Mike Nepper about the DeLorean models that they wanted to pursue. So here's a letter from Mattel to C.R. Brown, as you can tell, that sort of talks about the proposal for the 1980 Hot Wheels line to include the DeLorean. This was back in 1978 right here. More letters here. This one's from, this one's two. Mattel from DeLorean Motor Company. Here's a letter from Mattel to C.R. Brown. More discussion about the Hot Wheels line and including the Hot Wheels. They're calling them miniatures for asking for permission and approval. And these are the original letters here. And this kind of talks about the proposal that they agreed to. And here's a picture of the, mo of the car model developed by Mattel. So there's that photograph. This is an original C.R. Brown sign memo from DMC. And this is going from Mr. Brown to Thomas Kimmerly regarding the Mattel line. And here's another original letter. This is a kind of a cool one because this is an original letter from Mattel. It's, you can tell it's original because that's an original inked signature right there. And that's the original received stamp back in April of 1979. And close for your approval are the two color Polaroids of the proposed DMC-12 Hot Wheels car. So this is actually what they sent DeLorean. And take a look at this. I think there's only one Polaroid here. But there's apparently something else in here as well. I think we'll look at. And this is a photograph that DeLorean had sent to Mattel as well to kind of give them an idea of what the profile of the car looked like. All right, everybody, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed our little presentation on these very unique Hot Wheels prototypes that never happened. This is prototype one. And once again, guys, thanks for watching.